special guest comedian for the night, Warhol Kaufman. Give it up. I saw an old man walking past the funeral home. Dude, just go in. <laughs> just go. Old people are always early, you know? <laughs> if a paramedic has to take a shit, is that an emergency? I'm homeless, used to be home more. I was trying to figure out if I'm too big to fail. Turns out I'm not. I'm not too big to fail. I'm the right size, to, I'm actually perfect. <laughs> Perfect failure size. <laughs> failure is a size medium. If you want to try it on. I think it's ironic that Trump's son is barren when we all wish his mother was. Oh. <laughs> People be like, Trump is racist. And he's orange. Like, Donald Trump is so racist that he saw a black man in the Oval Office and thought, anyone can do that. <laughs> and America is so racist that Trump was right. <laughs> you guys like Bernie? Yeah. Yeah. I love Bernie. Yes. I love Bernie. I love, I love Bernie Madoff. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bernie Madoff. So much, I do. He's a he's amazing. Bernie Madoff stole sixty five billion dollars. That's incredible. That's white privilege. I couldn't steal sixty five billion dollars if I wanted to, and I do want to. That's what I want. <laughs> That's why I called you here. We can split it two ways. <laughs> So my friend uh, lent me money for drugs. He doesn't know I spend it on utilities. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise if you're racist. Probably. <laughs> Black actors never get to play Nazis. <laughs> That's racism. I went to the mall the other day. I went to Costco. The main difference between Costco and a refugee camp is the savings. <laughs> There's more savings. I went to Five Guys. Five Guys does not give a fuck about your peanut allergy. <laughs> but back in the day, the doctor wouldn't sit you down and say, your son has a peanut allergy. He would just tell you, your son is dead. Would you like a peanut? They're delicious. So I'm walking through the mall, this young white teenager makes eye contact with me. Under his breath he goes, my nigga. Yeah, a Denzel fan. <laughs> exactly. Guys, Obama ruined the dreams of black children. I wanted to be the first black president. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, uh, apparently Greta just got nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. I thought that was dope. I thought that was really dope. You know, because like, I think we should do something about climate change, you know? I think we should. Like, I think we should do, I think we should at least make sure the planet lasts long enough that we could all see how hot Greta Thunberg turns out. <laughs> like, it would be tragic if she didn't make it to 18. It would be tragic. 
They found the Golden State Killer. 30 years, someone was murdering people all over California for 30 years. Who knew it was the police? <laughs> Who could have predicted? It was the police. I actually just found out something super crazy. You wanna know? Yeah, I'll tell you. So crazy. I just found out, this is true, apparently. From a legal standpoint, if you kill two people, Nancy Pelosi is president. <laughs> like if you murder two people, Nancy Pelosi is the Democrat, not just any two people. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend just got the pre-abortion sonogram. Everyone's looking healthy. Everything's looking good. I don't know if abortion is murder, but I do know that killing every conservative politician is murder. But if you kill them, just start. I thought my girlfriend liked cocaine more than she liked me. And I was right, because she didn't dump coke yesterday. I just realized, I'm pretty sure Nickelodeon is responsible for my bukkake fetish. You can't do that on television. My ex-girlfriend was vegan. She shops at Whore Foods. Oh! I don't know if you, uh, if you remember in the 90s, there was this band called Dizzy Up the Girl. Isn't that what Cosby got in trouble for? <laughs> uh, you can't do that. Dude, no, I think it's terrible. I think it's awful that Bill Cosby raped Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Like, I don't think, he does not belong on the Supreme Court of the United States, in my opinion. I don't think you should, we don't, there's no room for rapists on the, only white rapists on the Supreme Court. Uh, you know, and Clarence Thomas, that's all we got room for. No one else. I was walking through San Francisco, I passed this club that had a sign, it said uh, club forgery. I was like, how do I know? <laughs> This is the real club forgery. <laughs> I didn't go in. <laughs> Couldn't trust it. I do think, I think it's really sad. Um, I think it's a shame that Ray Charles never got to see the film they made about his life. <laughs> I think he, he would have enjoyed it, you know? If he had lived, he would have enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I used to live in West Oakland. They found a human head in the recycling plant two blocks from my house, which is messed up because that's compostable. Yeah. 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 Spent some time in Portland. The town is too white and it makes my teeth look bad. It's weird being black in America, like we don't get invited to auctions anymore. used to get all the invites. I was living outside of Portland, St. John's, someone wrote a nigger on my fence across from my door. I was like, I'm home. <laughs> I used to work on Valencia, I would walk to work and pass this barber shop, I had a sign in the window, shave and a haircut, $80. So, I don't know if you heard, apparently there's a lot of young black men getting shot while handcuffed in the back of cop cars. Which makes me wonder, like, do police not watch Tarantino films? It's a lot of cleanup. 
I realized at some point that my grandmother was in D.C. for the entire civil rights movement. Next time I saw her, I asked Grandma, what was it like? You were there for the March on Washington. You were there for the I Have a Dream speech. What was it like? She said, oh, your grandfather wasn't interested in all that. I'm really inspired by the civil rights movement. I am. And actually, I'm, I'm so inspired. I, um, I, do, I want to make a movie. It's a porno. We open on Rosa Parks going down on Bayard Rustin. He's got a black power fist up Malcolm's ass. Corinna's in the corner writing an essay on her face. Angela Davis. All right. I was, I was in this bar the other day. The bartender leaned across to these two women. He was like, but old ladies don't know what bukkake is. I was like, old ladies know what bukkake is. They just remember it as Paris. <laughs> Told that joke in a nursing home. Killed. <laughs> Murdered. I think it'd be cool to be a special ed teacher. Like if you fail, it's not your fault, you know? I told that joke one time at a, <laughs> it was like a smoking show when I was high as fuck. They hate it. There's this one, one girl with Down syndrome in the audience. She laughed and laughed and laughed. She thought it was hilarious. I wish I had a time machine. Smoke all my weed twice. <laughs> wish I could teleport. Wouldn't be here. <laughs> Is it unfair to say the first lady slept her way to the top? <laughs> if you haven't been uh, to Oakland, I don't know if you uh, go up on Telegraph, the Store Club. Store Club on Telegraph. Ooh. The Store Club is owned by a pedophile. Yeah, he's a terrible bartender. I'm sure he's a great pedophile. <laughs> like they really know what to do with the Shirley Temple, you know? You guys, Shirley Temple's been dead for a long time. Can we start putting alcohol in her drink, please? <laughs> don't, don't, that's not me. Dude, on a scale of one to Jeff, Epstein's gotta be the worst, I think. It is, because like, how are you gonna be a billionaire pedophile and buy one of the Virgin Islands? That's fucking cliche as fuck. That's terrible. <laughs> it's bad, but I'm not just mad at Epstein, you know? Like, you know, Stephen Hawking came out to the pedophile island. It's true. Yeah, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking did not lift one finger to stop. Thank you. Oh my God.